we as a Muslim hear Adhan five times each day, which is call for prayers. Do you know who the person was who performed this duty for the first time in Islam? A black slave was entrusted with this duty which he performed during the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Bilal ibn Rabah was born in Mecca in the Hejaz in the year 580. His father Rabah was allegedly a slave for the clan of Banu Juma, while his mother, Hamama, was allegedly a former princess of Abyssinia, who was captured after the event of the Year of the Elephant and put into slavery. Being born into slavery, Bilal had no other option but to work for his master, Umayya ibn Khalaf. Through hard work, Bilal became recognized as a good slave and was entrusted with the keys to the idols of Arabia. However, racism and socio-political statutes of Arabia prevented Bilal from achieving a great position in society. When Muhammad, peace be upon him, peace be upon him announced his prophethood and started to preach the message. When Bilal's slave master, Umayya ibn Khalaf, found out, he began to torture Bilal. At the instigation of Abu Jahl, Umayyah bound Bilal and had him dragged around Mecca as children mocked him. Bilal refused to renounce Islam, instead repeating, Ahad, Ahad, one, one, i.e., one God. Incensed at Bilal's refusal, Umayyah ordered that Bilal be whipped and beaten while spread-eagled upon the Arabian sands under the desert sun, his limbs bound to stakes. When Bilal still refused to recant, Umayyah ordered that a hot boulder be placed on Bilal's chest. However, Bilal remained firm in belief and continued to say, Ahad, Ahad. News of the persecution of Bilal reached some of Muhammad peace be upon him's companions, who informed him. Muhammad peace be upon him sent Abu Bakr to negotiate for the emancipation of Bilal, who manumitted him after either purchasing him or exchanging him for a non-Muslim slave. Of Islam, Bilal renounced idol worship, becoming one of the earliest converts to the faith. In the newly formed Islamic state of Medina, Bilal had become a prominent contributing member of the Muslim society, taking on important roles. Muhammad peace be upon him chose Bilal as the first Mu'azzin, reciter of the Adhan. The majority of mosques around the world recite the Adhan according to the Sunni tradition. A dream was seen by Abdullah ibn Zayd, where an angel in the form of a man wearing a green garment taught the words of the Adhan. Muhammad peace be upon him, then instructed Abdullah to teach those words to Bilal because he had a louder voice than him. Umar ibn al-Khattab also saw the same dream. The detail of this story is narrated in Sunan ibn Majah that Abdullah ibn Zayd said the following. Being an African, Bilal R.A. missed the H in the Arabic word Ashhadu. Residents of Medina first laughed at his defective pronunciation, but the prophet, S.A.W., rebuked them and told them how dear Bilal, R.A., was to Allah for the stout faith he showed during infidels' tortures on him in Makkah, under Meccan tortures. The messenger of Allah was thinking of a horn, and he commanded that a bell be made, and it was done. Then Abdullah bin Zaid had a dream. He said, I saw a man wearing two green garments carrying a bell. I said to him, O slave of Allah, will you sell the bell? He said, What will you do with it? I said, I will call the people to prayer. He said, Shall I not tell you of something better than that? I said, What is it? He said, Say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allah is the most great, Allah is the most great. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. I bear witness that there is no God except Allah. I bear witness that there is no God except Allah. Ashhadu anna Muhammad, peace be upon him and Rasulullah. Ashhadu anna Muhammad, peace be upon him and Rasulullah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Hayya ala salah, hayya ala salah. Come to the prayer, come to the prayer. Hayya al-Fala, hayya al-Fala. Come to the prosperity, come to the prosperity. 
Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allah is the most great, Allah is the most great, La ilaha illallah, there is no God except Allah. Abdullah bin Zayd went out and came to the Messenger of Allah and told him what he had seen. He said, O Messenger of Allah, I saw a man wearing two green garments carrying a bell, and he told him the story. The Messenger of Allah said, Your companion has had a dream. Go out with Bilal to the mosque and teach it to him, for he has a louder voice than you. I, Abdullah, went out with Bilal to the mosque, and I started teaching him the words, and he was calling them out. Umar al-Khattab heard the voice and came out saying, O Messenger of Allah, by Allah I saw the same dream as him. Hassan Abu Ubaid said, Abu Bakr al-Hakami told me that Abdullah bin Zayd al-Ansari said concerning that, I praise Allah, the possessor of majesty and honor, a great deal of praise for the Adan. Since the news of it came to me from Allah, so due to it, I was honored by the information. During the three nights, each of which increased me in honor. Bilal rose to prominence in the Islamic community of Medina, as Muhammad peace be upon him appointed him minister of the Bayt al-Mal, treasury. In this capacity, Bilal distributed funds to widows, orphans, wayfarers, and others who could not support themselves. After the death of Prophet Muhammad, S. Al w Bilal never felt the same again. A day after the Prophet's death, Bilal went to make the usual adhan for morning prayer. While giving the adhan, he broke down, and steams of tears began to roll freely down his cheeks. He managed to finish the rest of the adhan in a low voice. After that, Bilal, R.A., stopped calling the adhan in Medina. The Sunni scholar Al-Suyuti, in his Tariq al-Kulafa, wrote, He, Bilal, died in Damascus in 17 or 18 A.H., but some say 20 A.H. or even 21 A.H. when he was just over 60 years old. Some said he died in Medina, but that is wrong. That is how it is in Ali Saba and other works, such as the Tahdib of An-Nawawi. When Bilal's wife realized that death was approaching Bilal, she became sorrowful. It is documented that she cried and said, What a painful affliction! However, Bilal objected to his wife's opinion by stating, On the contrary, what a happy occasion! Tomorrow I will meet my beloved Muhammad peace, be upon him and his faction, Hais B. He is believed to have been buried in the Bab al Sagir cemetery, Damascus. However, there exists another shrine, believed to be the burial of Bilal, near a small village called Al Rabahiya, in Amman, Jordan. Though there are some disagreements concerning the hard facts of Bilal's life and death, his importance on a number of levels is incontestable. Muazzins, especially those in Turkey and Africa, have traditionally venerated the original practitioner of their profession. The story of Bilal is the most frequently cited demonstration of Islam's views of measure people, not by their nationality nor social status nor race, but measuring people by their taqwa piety.